Hello all, welcome in our YouTube channel ERP SAP team. Today I will discuss a very important topic, asset transfer procedure in the GST design. Okay. After 1 July 2017, uh, GST is applicable in all the post and goods movement. All the activities comes under the GST process uh, will play a very, very, very important role. So in my case, there is a two case, asset transfer intra-company inter-GST and means we transfer our asset from one state to another state because in single state, there is a single GSTN number. Intra-company, inter-GSTN. Getting my points? For example, all over India, there is a single company, but the GSTN vary from state to state. Getting my points? And GST is applicable. For example, 2802 is a Amritsar BA and 2804 Chandigarh BA. If we transfer the asset from Amritsar BA to Chandigarh BA. For example, Chandigarh is a union territory. GSTN is different. Amritsar BA is under Punjab states. So GSTN is a different. And the second state, second case is asset transfer from intra-company and intra-GSTN within, within the state. 1701 Haryana Circle Office asset transfer from Haryana Circle Office to Karnal business area. So this is a second case. So what is the procedure? Getting my point? Two separate case intra company inter GSTN, intra company intra GSTN. Okay. Here you need to creation of decommission asset. You need to a de create a decommission asset in 9917 class for execute the transaction code AS01. This is finance activity. The second step is transfer from main asset to decommission asset, both gross value and depreci depreciation. Getting my points? Actual depreciation. Getting my points? So you just execute the transaction code ABUM and transfer your original asset to that decommission asset. Okay, both grass value and the depreciation. Getting my points. This is also a finance activity and uh, the transaction code run by finance officer is ABUM and getting my points. The third step is you need to create a material of a JRAM type with standard value, not MAP for the net value of the asset. Getting my points. Creation of the material in the JRAM type with the standard value for the net value of the asset. You need to raise the docket, you need to raise the docket and simply finance, uh, MM core team will uh, create this type of the material. Getting my points, in the, both the case, this activity is very important. Third step is, you need to fill this MM08 template. Getting my points? This is MM08 template available on our ERP help desk website, okay? Under the blank data template, okay? You need to fill each and every details okay here and you just send using PIS of MM L1 to L2 and L3 officer getting my points so third step is this once the material is created then creation of the reservation with movement type 242 retirement for asset okay MB21 RE for asset getting so once you create the reservation using that material type there is a there is a reservation number will generate and you just goods receipt against reservation decommission asset conversion into inventory. This is a similar process as we are using in the scrapping of any asset. Getting my points? So the fifth, fifth step is also very common step. Sixth step is in both the case, PO by receiving plant for the same material PO type as per the scenario. In case of intra company inter GSTN, you need to create ME20 purchase order of JetGTO type. In case of intra company intra GSTN, you need to create JSTI type of the purchase order. Getting my points? And once you create the purchase order and re uh, release that purchase order, seventh step is OBD by sender against the PO and post good issue. Outbound delivery OBD by sender, sender plant against the purchase order and post good issue. Getting for this, the transaction code is VL10B or VL02N. Getting my points? And the eighth step is customer invoicing by sender plant against OBD for detail refer note 5. Getting my points? You need to create invoicing. Getting my points? For this, you need to create inter company inter GSTN. Inter company inter GSTN is not possible in our case because the in our case the companies companies 
single company code getting my points before the single company code for each and every circuit there is a unique company code so this process is applicable in that case you just execute the transaction code vf01 and here enter the obd number and billing type will be ziv iv or ziv you just check from the drop down here okay and once you uh, check the obd detail and billing document the asset transfer detail will be available double click the line item check under condition tab getting my points double click the line item and check under the condition tab moving average price oblique depreciated price will be picked from the material master against condition type jadc copy the price in the condition type jadcs manually and also check whether gst tax condition are picked correctly or not getting my points jadc and jadcs is accessible value getting my points okay so in that case all the things gst is applicable 18% base ed plus st is this and total service tax all the details is available here getting my points you need to update each and every detail if not map in condition tab but if you map in the material master it will be automatically fetched from there getting my points yes the next price is next uh, step is billing intercompany billing okay in the header data tab billing date is current date getting my points so billing document number will be generated under header detail billing date de detail should be current date and save the document once you save the document billing document number will be generated the second case in our case second case is intercompany intra gstm okay intercompany intra gstm within the plan if you think within the plan within the circle so okay vf01 again enter the obd number billing type will be iv oblique jiv intercompany billing okay again fill the details and enter uh, the detail will be available here uh, double click the line item and check under condition tab check under condition tab moving average pipe map depreciated price will be picked from material master against condition type jdc copy the price in the condition type jdcs manually and also check whether 0% gst tax condition are picked correctly or not because intra company no gst will be charged getting my points the same thing is applicable only the difference is in the gst getting my points also check under header details billing date should be current date and then save the document billing document number will be generated getting my points and the case 3 is intra company inter gstn in the present scenario for example we transfer from asset from the business area amritsar to punjab circle and from chandigarh chandigarh is the union territory punjab is a state so gst is applicable intra company inter gst this is a very important case frequently we are using enter the delivery number and press enter delivery number means obd number and pick the billing type will be jet gto gst invoice okay gst invoice stu is this the uh, all the condition will be picked from here double click and line item and check under the condition tab moving average price map oblique depreciated price will be picked from the material master against condition type vprs i repeat again condition type vprs price against vprs will be copied in the condition type jsc0 maintain at 100% at sale organization level and also check whether gst tax condition are picked correctly or not price can be varied by changing the percentage against jsco example if vprs is 5000 and jsco is 5000 depreciated price then change the percentage against jsco to 80% getting my points i repeat again if vprs vprs price against condition type jsco and jsco depreciated price is 4000 then means 80% of vprs is jsco then change the percentage against jsco to the 80% getting my points 
Getting my points? VPS is an internal price. ZSU is a brace price is 100%. If not 100%, then change the percentage. Then uh, integrated GST is 18%. Total value is this. Getting my points? Net is this, tax is this. Everything is will be reflected in the condition tab. Also check under header details. Billing date should be current date and the shape the document. Billing document number will generate it. And this is your invoice number. Getting my points? I repeat again. So this is all the steps of creation of the billing document. Document output for material movement, tax invoice, delivery chalan. Okay. Uh, once you take the printout, tax invoice VF03, input output type ZEXC and for in case of uh, intra company, intra GSTN, you need to generate the delivery channel using ZMF underscore NRGP. Getting my points? For this, you need to input material document number. The 10th step is good receipt by the receiving plans against OBD. In both the case, you need to good receipt against OBD. 11th step is this is like Miro. This is like Miro. Vendor invoicing by receiving plans against the purchased order. JFI underscore J underscore 1IG underscore INV. And this is only applicable in intra GSTN, not applicable in the intra GSTN. Getting my points? Once you've done the invoicing, then in the 12th step, the creation of asset in the respective class in the receiving plant without quantity but with unit of measurement without quantity but with the unit of measurement once you create the asset creation of the reservation with movement type Z41 good issue for asset MB21 14th step good issue against reservation good issue against reservation inventory conversion into the asset then our inventory price is directly transferred to the asset and now the asset is available with the receiving plant with the actual value getting my points some accounting instruction are there uh, corporate office asset history asset detail asset number gross value accumulated depreciation net value date of capitalization useful life expired useful life remaining life should be prepared manually and sent along with the invoice oblique delivery chalan and the same must also be attached to the stock transfer order Balance transfer to the remittance GL of the respective plant shall be carried out through F-04 as per the usual procedure. For more detail as per creation of the STU, please refer FAQ 184. For organizing detail, I will I'll, I'll also discuss. For the filling the MM08 template, uh, creation of new jet rate type material, fill fleece please MM08 template available on the portal MM modules. Column Q, price in risk, please provide standard price, column W. Actual assignment group, account assignment group, please provide account assignment group as 49, column as valuation class, please provide valuation class as a 2600. In the same way, standard price need to be maintained at the receiving plant also. Getting my points? This is very important while we are filling MM08 template. Getting my points? Some accounting is there. Once you execute the transaction code ABUM and transfer from main asset to decommission asset, both gross value and actual uh, depreciation in old be there is a uh, asset gl uh, is credit and uh, this is actual depreciation gl is debit and the decommission asset is uh, debit and decommission asset actual depreciation is credit once you do once you do the ab government transfer from main asset to the decommission asset this this accounting uh, will be generated getting my points respective in the respective yields once you do the MIGO good receipt against reservation decommission asset conversion into the inventory asset under transfer GL is debited by net value and decommission asset will be credited by the net value getting my points the same things will be happen in intracom GSTN okay Outbound delivery by the sender against the PO and post good issue in old BA, also in the new BA. Asset under transfer is debited in the new BA. Asset under transfer is credited in old BA. Same phenomena will be happen in uh, as per accounting here. Okay. Customer invoicing by sender plans against OBD in old BA. Customer invoicing by sender plan. In this case, the customer is the new plant that is the receiving plant 
and so customer invoicing by the sender plant against OBD. In this case, the there is a separate plant customer. Getting my points? Once you do the VF01 activity, then plant customer is debited. 2690110 stock transfer enter GST clearing account is credited. Output tax liability GST GL is credited. Getting my points? Once you good receipt by the receiving plant against OBD, good receipt by receiving plant against OBD. Once you've done the invoicing, then good receipt by the receiving plant against OBD. No accounting document. Once you executed MIRO, once you execute the MIRO MIRO invoicing in the receiving plant, okay, in enter GST scenario, not in intra GST scenario. 2690110 GL stock transfer enter GST clean account is debited. Input tax credit IGST is debited and plant vendor is credited. Getting my points? The last step is goods issue against reservation means inventory value transfer into the asset in the new BA. Then asset GL is debited with the net value and asset under transfer is credited with the net value. This whole accounting phenomena will be done at the background level and if any problem is there you can consult with your FICO L2 or concerned account officer or finance officer. Okay. So thank you for watching this video and uh, this is very uh, helping video uh, I, I have just prepared with respect to the uh, accounting instruction received from the our corporate office and this is purely uh, training. Uh, video and uh, I have just prepared for the reference purpose only uh, because most of the field unit officer are thinking that what is the procedure to do each and everything okay so there is a standard instruction uh, giving to all the SSA uh, circles uh, as per the our CSXN team thank you CSXN team for providing such a nice instruction for our uh, field, for this activity Okay, please follow and uh, share this video, uh, share this document available on our intranet uh, ERP help desk website also. Okay, so thank you again. Have a nice day.